Hey guys, it's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living, and I'm going to make some supper. I'm hoping you can come along with me. I'm going to make some goulash. I have you up high on the tripod, just so you can see what I'm doing. But I had a busy day. I was up the valley t today. I had to take one of the kids to an appointment. And, um, yeah, it turns out it was only half a day of school today, which I didn't know. I'm not that organized. And, uh, Luckily, my neighbor, very nice neighbor, offered to send one of her girls over and watch my big girls when they got off the bus. It was only about 20 minutes difference, but I still had running around to do, so I got to still do that. So as you can see here, I just put some hamburger in the pan, a pot of water, I'm going to turn it on, on high to start boiling. I'm going to add some salt to the water. This box is almost empty. <coughs> And bring that up to sizzle. I'll turn this on an eight to start warming up and I'm just gonna break it up. I didn't feel like doing anything big and fancy and I, I said to one of the kids I'm just gonna make goulash they all like it and I said well, you're making a video on that and I said yeah and they're like well it's just like spaghetti and because oftentimes when I make spaghetti I just make a meat sauce instead of meatballs. I said it is pretty much but I'm still doing it just to have some company while I do it. So I'm just going to break this up. And this is one of those meals, I put everything all in the pan at the same time and fry it up together. It works. It works. Want out babies. So what I have here, I chopped up an onion. Oh, jeepers. Well, most of an onion went in there. Get going, you guys. Some garlic powder. It fell. Just leave it. I'm going to sweep it up after. It's okay. Some onion powder. All this stuff is like to your own taste. So just do what you like. You guys don't want to eat this onion powder. Get going. Not right now anyways. And I have some chopped up garlic there. Minced garlic. I'm going to put it in a little while after it cooks. So, when this starts sizzling, I'll bring you back. Alright guys, it's been frying for a while. I just flip it around once in a while. It's starting to turn brown. I find when you cook hamburger, it doesn't take very long to cook. It takes longer to do the noodles than the meat. So, I just move it around and try to break it up as much as I can. So now I'm going to add some minced garlic. I got it from the Costco in Halifax. So that's what I'm doing. And I think I'm going to add some salt and pepper now too. That water's starting to boil. I'll get the noodles. guys pasta was on sale the other day at superstore and my husband picked up a bunch for me because we were out we got macaroni we got spaghetti we got some of these i call them twisty but fusilli i don't know fusilli but that's what i'm going to use today i like these twisty ones because the sauce gets right in it holds on to it seems to grab a hold of it so i'm just for us i'm going to use a whole bag With a meal like this, you can use it as a freezer meal too. Um, you can put it in one of those containers or a big Ziploc bag and freeze it. Freeze is wonderful. Watch out, baby. Don't come around here. Ah. So we'll just make sure it gets all wet and let that come up to a boil again. People say you have to add oil. You don't have to add oil. Just keep an eye on it. You can if you want. It's not going to stick together as long as you keep an eye on it. But do what works for you. So it's coming together quick. Once these meals are done,
done. This meat should be just about all cooked. And then we just work with the sauce. How easy is that? You can throw this kind of meal together within a half hour. It's super easy. All right, let's work with the sauce. So I thought I didn't have any more homemade tomato sauce. I found one jar. It's very exciting, but that's my very last homemade tomato sauce jar. So we'll have to buy some until I, until we get another batch of tomatoes, which won't be until the end of summer probably. Um, but I'm going to make sure this time around I'm going to can as much tomato sauce as I can. I'll go to local local farmers and uh, you picks and things like that because we use it a lot in so many different dishes. So I'm going to open that jar in a second, but I have a can. This was on sale. It's just original. When I buy sauces, I like to buy the original one and doctor it up myself. But do what use whatever sauce you like. If you like a certain brand, use the brand. Whenever I make any kind of pasta dish, I, I always put a can of tomato soup in it. If I didn't have that, I could add a can of diced tomatoes, whatever. That, that's really delicious too. But today I'm just doing these. And then I'm going to open my homemade can of tomato sauce. I forget what I put in this. I think some basil or... Ooh. Um, things. Now you've seen me put onion in this this meat sauce. You can put mushrooms. I don't have any. I cooked them the other day with that steak meal. Um, some peppers. I'm just keeping it simple, guys. So we'll bring this up to uh, bubbling, and then I'll turn it way down. I'm not going to turn this on high. I'll put it between a six and a seven, just so it starts to simmer and bubble. And uh, I have the noodles turned down. To a six, I'll turn it down even lower, between a three and a four, just for another five minutes or so. And then this will be ready to be served. The kids are outside playing. It's a beautiful day out. But, and I know this is something they'll eat, so I wanted to make something easy for me, yummy for them. And uh, we haven't had this in, in a while, so this will be good. So I'll bring you back when it's time to dish us up a plate. You guys can come sit down and eat supper with us. All right, guys, I'm just going to taste one of these noodles to make sure that it's, uh, oh, you're kind of crooked. Let's try that. Make sure it's cooked all the way through. It only cooked for maybe 10 minutes. I find, I bring it up to a boil and then I turn it down to a medium high and just keep an eye on it. It's hot. Yeah, perfect. You don't want it too mushy or too soft because then it just turns to mush. So I'm going to bring this over to the sink and strain it and then uh, then I'm going to get the bowls in. Okay, so what you can do now, you can pour the sauce into the noodles or the noodles into the sauce and mix it all together. So it'll just be one big bowl. I've done that sometimes. Sometimes I do that with whatever's left over. But when I serve it up for the first time, I usually just um, put bowls in... Uh, the noodles in a bowl and put the sauce on top because some of the kids like lots of sauce some of the kids don't some of them don't want any sauce um so it's just a matter of choice and i think i have a little parmesan cheese in the fridge um i don't have any hard cheese otherwise i would grate some of that up and that could have made it extra cheesy but i'm not going to try to complicate things and go to a store after i've been home to get something that it's not really necessary I know this camera isn't going to pick this up in great detail, so I'll make sure I snap a couple pictures of what I'm doing and put it in the video for you guys to see. So, uh, yeah, I'll get the rest of the plates ready and call the kids in, but that's how I make a quick goulash. You know, when you think of goulash, you think of macaroni noodles. I had some, but the kids really like these noodles, and we haven't had these noodles in a long time. So I thought I'd make it with these noodles. But, yeah, that's how I make goulash. And, uh, yeah, thanks so much for joining us today. Come back again another day. Um, if you swing by, your plate's here waiting for you. So peace, love, and happiness. And please like, share, and subscribe. All right, guys, have a good day. Yeah.